All right. I watched the FNAF movie the day it came out. Let, let me talk about it. Now, before I get into anything about the into this video, um, there is heavy spoilers about the movie. So if you haven't watched the movie, I recommend you should watch it before you watch this video. Um, you may be noticing I'm in a different room. Um, I'll get to that after. But let's just get to the review. So this movie, it basically takes place where a guy named Mike Schmidt um, he is a security guard at a mall, um, and he gets fired for being up a kid's dad because he thought he was kidnapping him. Then he has to survive or work at a place called F uh, Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. And uh, the, the animatronics are just, you know, basically, like, it got shut down in, like, the 80s, and now, like, the animatronics are trying to kill him. You know, really good movie. They brought this movie from the game really good. I was surprised of like how accurate they made the animatronics compared to the games. But on another thing I did mention though, when I left the movie, I feel like it takes place from the books more instead of the actual game itself. Because they reference more shit from the books than the actual game, in my opinion. I don't know. But otherwise, um, the movie, I just feel like it was kind of back and forth. Like, let's talk about the animatronics quickly. I, I just want to get the shit done and over with. Remember that scene or like that picture where it shows like the little girl with like the animatronics ar around them and then she's like, oh, they're friendly. They're friendly. That shit is real. And I was so disappointed. I almost left the feeder, but I'm so lucky I didn't because the ending was actually so good. They're like, oh, they're friendly. They're friendly. And then they build a fort. They build a fucking fort in the middle of the movie. They build a fort. But then, surprisingly, they recovered from that because the reason why they're acting so nice was that they're trying to get the little girl into one of the suits. That's like, like that's like a what the fuck comeback. Like, I would never think like if they would be able to like come back from like going from like killer animatronics to like being friendly and build a fort. They recovered from that shit. I was surprised. Like, I didn't think they would recover. Like, I was already pissed off about this movie, but then the, once you watch it throughout, like, more throughout the middle of the movie, it's really good. Now, another thing I found funny, there was little kids watching this shit, and in one of the scenes of the movie, one girl gets bitten in half. <laughs> like, you're making your kids watch a movie where animatronics kill people and like biting them in half and the animatronics killing themselves like what do you expect your kids to do in this movie like like mommy look at that that lady got chopped in half <laughs> like what the fuck <laughs> i forgot to put this in the video um i recorded my friend's thoughts right when we finished the movie um so here's what they think about the movie all right jack what was your thoughts on the financial freddy's movie it sucked why all right it made no sense, and the animatronics were nice. Cool. What cool the hell? Be cool beans. Yeah. David, what did you think about the FNAF movie? Uh, fucking people clapping. Piss me off. Did you know that I'm Jack Lagoon? No. Okay. Back to what I was saying about the animatronics. I feel like it was kind of going back and forth because first they're bad at the start. Then they become more friendly in the middle. Then they become more evil at the end. Then they're, then they're like a mix of both around like the really big end of the movie like i'm really confused now one thing that i thought was kind of bullshit the pictures determine their thoughts like that, that's such bullshit the fuck like they take off the picture where like spring trap and like the like the five kids are there replaces it with like uh he killed you but then they jump him they jumped spring trap at the end of the movie but then he actually gets spring like spring locked william afton that's actually a surprising thing and i think that's actually one of the things that got leaked they leaked the sound effect the laughing and like how it would actually like go out and shit i only saw like a little bit of it but i think that was actually fake but they kind of predicted it being in the movie so the ending um I don't know. The ending was like, like kind of like mixed topics and shit. The place gets like 
crumbled, right? So basically, it's like what they said in FNAF 2. The place got like crushed or like got destroyed or some shit. And then they had to reopen. They're preparing for the sequel. Okay, so it makes more sense. The characters in this movie, um, they're okay. They're okay. That's all I can say. They're okay. They put Willem Dafoe as fucking William Afton. They put Shaggy as William Afton? Like, what the, what the fuck? Dude, that's, like, that's such a random choice, but it's also a really good choice. He played William Afton really good in this movie, and, like, it was fucking perfect. The, like, the, like, the way he, like, acts as William Afton, like, the way, like, he, I don't know. He just played it really good. The guy that played Mike Schmidt, um, he was also a good security guard. Um, I don't think they're going to add that Mike is William's son, but they might because they did say that because in the middle of the movie, it shows Mike losing his brother named Garrett from a man. That man was William Afton, and he threatened to, like, kill him and, like, saying, like, oh, you're going to be with your son again or some shit like that. Like, I don't know. It was really cool. Now, to, like, where they actually, like, showcased Springtrap was so cool. It just shows him walking into the plaza or, like, the uh, the pizzeria. Tom Brady fucking Mike. Then he just kicks him, and then that's it. That's all he does to the bike. He just fucking... <laughs> Dude, it's like it's some anime type shit. But then, another plot twist is from this movie. Um, Vanessa is actually William's daughter. What? Yeah, the William, like the Vanessa from that's supposed to be from Security Breach is William Afton's daughter. What? <laughs> like the plot twists in this movie are so good in this fucking shit. It's so fun. Now, I'm going to talk about my experience quickly. Um my experience was okay. It was an okay experience. Now, before I get into my actual reading of this movie, um, I forgot to describe or like explain why I'm in a different area. So I moved all of my, because I have a 3D printer, I moved all my 3D printer stuff, which includes this laptop, and I moved this stuff so I could be able to make like these type of props, like this sword I just made like a couple hours ago, and like many other stuff. Now. If you are interested in like purchasing some props from me, um, I could make these props for you. I only charge like two, three dollars an hour. It's like for me, it's a really good deal. Um, it just depends on the product you order. All I have is PLA Plus and PLA, which is like PLA Plus is like basically this. It's more stronger. It's more heat resistant, but it does cost a dollar more per hour which doesn't even make a difference but if you're going cheap and just going for normal pla um that's fine i just still need to add some touches because it's only on marketplace i haven't opened like an actual like a big website or something and this is the only way i could promote you know making these products and like sell making them and like give them to you and you pay me it's really that simple um, I'll leave a link to the marketplace description if you're looking, you know, into it. Um, I have the description of how you're able to buy the stuff for me, how you're able to, you know, find the stuff that you want me to print. And, uh, yeah. Now, for my actual reign of this movie. So, throughout the beginning of the movie, I was, I was really excited to see this movie. But then, throughout the middle, I was really disappointed because, you know, they start acting nice and then they build a fort and shit. But then throughout the end of the movie, I started to gain back that excitement that I got from the beginning of the movie. So I'll give this movie a 7 out of 10. Now, that was my review. Um, please go check out my Marketplace this uh, thing.